What's up gamers, this is Staff PlayStation Gamer. Today I'm going to give you guys my quick little thoughts on Astrobot and why I think this game will possibly be a game of the year contender in a pretty, let's be uh, real here, pretty off year for PlayStation as a whole. Like, holy shit. But, you know, we won't talk about that. Let's just talk about Astrobot and why this game is so damn good. First off, I gotta say visually, it looks great. It performs great too. That's something I, I'm starting to emphasize more. Not so much the visuals are important. The visuals can look great, cool. I learned my trick from Black Myth Wukong. I care about performance. I care about how this thing performs. And Astrobot performs very well. Like there's like, I only know it's like one stutter. One stutter in the whole section, the whole time I've played this game. We're talking 10 plus hours of gameplay I have played and I only noticed one stutter and that was in like the final boss and it was barely even there but it was like because my eyes you know are fucking razor sharp I noticed that one little freaking thing that was off but it's like outside of that it's a really good performer like it's it's the it, you would want this game in the Olympics because it's that good a performer so the next thing is story and characters oh there's not, not much to talk about here uh the, the little alien dude kidnaps the CPU. You have to go get the, the ship's parts back and save the CPU. So, in other words, you're saving a princess, I guess, in a sense. So, yeah. It's a it's a simple story. Astrobot's a pretty simple character. Like Little fucker likes to dance all the time. Yeah, yeah, he likes to dance. Gameplay, pretty much, you know, I, I would say close to a Knack and Ratchet and Clank type of game. Not a platformer, quote unquote, because like when I think platformer, I think 2D platformer. This is more like a 3D platform and action game would technically be the label for it. And I think it's very good. Like I think this is like the gold standard going forward when it actually, no, 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 no. The platinum standard going forward because like this is pretty much the best I've played when it comes to these type of games. I think, you know, while other games have been good, like Ratchet and Clank Rifted Apart, I feel like Astrobot just like, it just, there's the, how every level has a gimmick is, you know, it adds extra flair, extra, it adds an extra thing you have to remember to how to utilize correctly and make it a little bit more challenging. That's what I like here. Then, of course, there's the challenge plans, which if you've tried, you know, they're not so hard that they're, they're feel impossible, but they're so hard. They will make you sweat, especially if you're like me, who is a person who normally doesn't play very challenging stages. Like, I'm the kind of guy, I put everything on normal mode. I'm So, that playing those challenge plans was like playing games on like, you know, the hardest difficulty. And it's like, I have like no resources. Like, that's the best way I could describe it. You know, you know how I play it. Like, I'll play on the harder difficulties once I have the all the best stuff. That is like, okay, well, now I can play on harder difficulty. But... This was more like you actually, actually, you, <laughs> you actually have to have skills. Your skills actually need to be more polished and you need to learn to fight certain habits that the game kind of teaches you. So yeah, uh, far as challenge and all that stuff goes, it's fun. It's a good time. Uh, I guess the last thing I could talk about is just like, you know, the PlayStation references, uh, this thing's a celebration of PlayStation, uh, more specifically, just like. It came out around the. It's almost the 30th year the PlayStation, the original PlayStation came out. So they have a bunch of cameos in this game, and I mean like straight up like some of these I didn't think they would actually even get the rights to show, because like you know if, you know circumstances surrounding them. But it's like no, they showed them, and they even went to some of the obscure stuff. That I'm pretty sure a lot of people forget about. There's some characters that kind of were missing. Like why is Sweet Tooth not in this for some reason? Uh, unless he's like literally the last character you unlock in that you know final challenge area which doubtful but <laughs> i gotta say man like so these seeing these cameos and that statement that the executive made i'm like yo if astrobot proof ethane is playstation has too many ips they have too many ips they could just pull from anywhere and it's like there you go just make a new game of that or hell just make a remaster of that but I went to that whole situation. Let's talk about Astrobot. Overall, I say this game 
it's really good. Like, like I said, it's the platinum standard when it comes to three, you know, three D action platformers. Like, it's to me what I would think of. Like, hey, how would you get someone, you know, into these type of games? Probably start with Astro Bot or Ratchet Clank Rifted Apart. Ratchet Clank Rifted Apart for more of the weapons and the creativity there. But Astro Bot for more of the traditional, how normally these kind of games flow. Um, I, know, I know some people will probably bring up Knack. And, you know, like, oh, this guy feels like a ripoff of Knack. Yeah, because it was made by the same developers as Knack. So it would make sense. It has some of that similar DNA. But it's also different in its own way. Like, I gotta be real, man. This little Astro Bot, man, he has been killing it. Like, you know, Astro's uh, VR rescue mission, which actually I heard from a lot of people was really good. I also heard people say, you know, Astro's playroom was really good to the point that I platinumed it. And then I saw saw the trailer for that. So like, oh shit, this is a team of Sobe. And there's, I just want to go on this quick little tire right here just because... I, I'm going to make my desperate plea for Sony to do this. Um, Sony, let Team Asobi make a Apex Escape remake, please. I would love that. I'm pretty sure a lot of us would love that. Because when I played that Apex Escape planet, I wanted to keep playing it. I wanted to play more. They nailed that Apex Escape gameplay to a fucking T. Please, Sony, let, let Team Asobi make an Apex Escape remake, please. Or at least let them oversee it, cause like, or help, cause like they are they nailed it perfectly. And you know, you keep teasing Apexcape. You're like, come on, man, how many fuck Apexcapes are on PlayStation Plus Premium? I'm just gonna point that out here. Why can't we just have a remake with modern controls instead? The controls the first one has, you know, <laughs> not being a great time. But overall, yeah, I highly recommend Astro Bot. I give it a. 10 out of 10, one of the best 3D action platformers you will ever play. And I know that's, pro you know, really high for some people. You know, I would put this on the same level as Mario Odyssey. I would put this on the same caliber as Ratchet Clank, you know, uh, uh, not Rifted Apart, Up Your Arsenal or Going Commando. Where it's like, it's just one of those games that if you are thinking about playing this type of game, this is the default. This is one of the defaults you could go to. So, with all that said, guys, make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube algorithm BS. I'm going to go lay down now because I've been dealing with freaking allergies, and that's probably why my nose sounds stuffed up. Apologies for that. But uh, thank you for watching. Bye.